Hey everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm Wood Spoonie, and this is NBA 2K24 on 2K Sports. Hey everybody, we are back for another NBA 2K24, and this next matchup we are about to be bringing into the Eastern Conference matchup, right in between of the North and the Southeast on the side. It's the Detroit Pistons and Charlotte Hornets. Now this is the team what we all call for. Charlotte Hornets have gotten a great stoppable advantage run and from two seasons ago we've already seen that they've made a win against the Minnesota Timberwolves in overtime. This was the toughest game in the matchup. We've always been seeing that Mr. Ball just got a lot of great slam and hustle down right towards the way from Gordon Hayward, Miles Bridges, and Terry Rozier. All the air players are just making it feel like they are on the run. Yes, that is exactly true. I've never seen when it's going to happen like this in this guy. Well, we're, we'll find out what is going to happen now because there's one way that we are going to find out of who will win the next game. The courtesy lineup of being here we have is Kate Cunningham, Jane Ivey, Alzir Thompson, Mohamed McDonavich, and Jalen Duran. And the other side of the Charlotte Hornets we have is Terry Rozier III, Brandon Miller, Gordon Hayward, Miles Bridges, and Mark Williams are your starting five. Sorry, Lonzo Ball. Unfortunately, he is already injured on the list here. Because he might be out, we have no idea what would happen. Yeah, it's definitely very tough enough to make that game look like it's a unbelievable moment. But it doesn't happen to be like this. But let's hope that they win without Lonzo Ball. Now, standing by for the commentating report, I will have on the other side is Boomer, and he will be here along with the other two of Mr. Gangsta Beast and the other one of the fur commentary crew, Test 2. Let's get the game started and let's give it a run. Enjoy your third game, folks. Let's roll. And I will see you back in the post game show. And, and it's going to be a happening for a night. The Hornets and the Detroit Pistons are ready to take things on and for the game itself. Warming up in the locker room and ready for game time. It's another 2K game. Hello everybody, Boomer here along with my broadcasting partner with Gangsta and Test 2. And we have is David Aldridge here for our commentating, of course. This one's going to be a fun, exciting matchup as we're about to be seeing those two in Eastern Conference. These are the starting groups here as they will be playing right now here at Spectrum Center. Kate Cunningham on Terry Rogier. Jaden Ivey on Brandon Miller. Ozier Thompson on Gordon Hayward. Then McCall Bridges, he's also with Obama Gunnich. And finally, we have it all. It's always a fair, fair look of, of Duran and Mill. This is going to be a funnest matchup, and we're ready to take it all. Yeah, I am really excited to see what's going on. And I'm just set to tell you this. They might be happy enough to be in here on one side or another, but I'm not pretty sure what's going to happen. This one's going to be a fun one. I think we're ready. The first shot comes in for Cunningham. As right now, McDonavich has the first assist here in the game. Always you can't tell that one. They're really the tough. They can be honestly a great star. Ivy with the two, and it's a two-point good. Right in the bucket score. He has his first bucket, and now here's Cunningham. On a start run with 6.25 left to go, they've lost against the other team of the New Orleans Pelicans. This was a hard one that they were trying to take, but it looks like the Detroit Pistons might have a comeback and try to go with our win. They've never done it before, and they wanted to do something else that's different. What is your take, you guys? Well, I'm hoping this is one of the team. I've always got to tell you, this is a lot of the hard major responses, and I have no questions to ask of what they were saying. All they can tell you now that it looks like the team of the Detroit Pistons are probably the top team. I just never really noticed what was going to happen, but let me tell you why. There's one reason that they're going to get this done. Let's find out if Detroit Pistons can have an answer back. 
Here's a two for Rozier. Missed again as Bogdanovich with a rebound. It's not happening like this because that all happens to be like this, not at all costs. And this was the happening of the devastation loss against the Minnesota Timberwolves, but we seen two seasons ago after they put up an overtime win over Minnesota. Yes, this is all that happened. I really have to notice that. This was a tough this summer matchup. They can't just really get away with this. They've got a lot that hard. And major response, not happening as well. I can definitely tell you now, it looks like Terry Rozier on a tough, but definitely a best player in the year. This is really like a lot of toughs happen. Miller missed a three-pointer. Another rebound put up for Detroit. Now, he finds a pass over to Cunningham. Looks over to McDonavich. Great ball movement for Detroit. Moving back and forth as they're going right in between. Cunningham over to two, and he's fouled by McCall by Miles Bridges. That will be his first personal foul, and their first team foul for Charlotte. Okay, Cunningham had a lot of great response with that drive, and this was a hard one to take. Not even at all as a major. I just never seen what was going to happen like that. You always can't just tell that it's hard. You know, always can tell you now. They're trying to make that response count. Not even all questions. Two shots coming up here for Kate Cunningham with only 4.46 to go in the first period. Hits the first free throw. This last appearance was definitely 19.9. A lot of major scores before their team puts up and eliminate it for their final season. Well, it's definitely the tough one that you can tell that Kate Cunningham, he really has it all within the bounds. I just really never seen what was going to happen like that. They really are into a full major credit. Can't deny that one, because he's all in hands. He hits his second free throw. Detroit up by six. Bruce Miller, he will start it off. Looks it over, Rozier up. Good shot, tough fun look as Terry Rozier has a two-pointer to take. Here's Cunningham, he will try this one again. Now finds Ivy. Ivy takes it over to get to Cunningham. Looks it over to Thompson. Fake the shot. Tip it over right by Dura. Back again to Thompson. Taking a wide open look. Rebound puts up by Dura. And he will have a bucket in. That'll be his first bucket rebound and his third rebound of the night. That is a lot of hard one, and you can definitely tell that Durant was already like all responses. I never see what was going to happen like that, but you always can't tell. It's a denying shot run. You don't have a must mess with me. Nice D by Cunningham. And the receiving by McDonavich now gives over to Durant. On the finish, good pickup look as Durant has a second bucket assisted by McDonavich. There's always in the good round because the McDonavich is really going over that way, making the line feel like he's like out on a changeable score. Just tough one, you can't. And ball stolen. Here's a fast break, Thompson. Wide open look is Cunningham. And in the corner makes it in. That'll be his first three-pointer. As it puts up here for 15-4-1 in the first. Now, this is whatever happens after the ball was loose. You can't just make that one feel like you're out of your line. You just really wanted to get away with this. That is a lot of major upsetting with the kill. In the Buzz City, nobody has an option. They just really need to do something else, that's all. Cunningham finds again to Ivy. Cunningham trying to figure it out to go over to McDonovich and trying to make it cut in. Thompson, step in the move. Two-pointer, can't sit in. As Thompson has that one at number one down, it is an extension run to start up with their routine, passing the 15-point mark in the first period. They're always that good. I always like to tell you now, they are just getting away with that. They just make it that one to go with the start run. First time it's been called by Charlotte Hornets with only 2.44 to go. And right now, they're going to make some new changes to your offense. Now, this is whatever happens right now. You always have to tell that the all players are in the best line. But none of them were really that important. Because this was a tough start, but they are just trying to do is to make that one win. After a fight, last season loss against the Portland Trail Blazers, this was not the case that they were doing this before. I know this was very that difficult for them, but let me say that Damian Lillard got a great amount of a setup. But I'm thinking this is a run match-off. 
I'm thinking that Bogdanovich and Gordon Hayward are going to be a lot that hard to try to contribute. Not everybody's favorite are going to do it the best, but don't get in mind. This was like hard enough to do this. Not anybody's responses, but don't get anybody in the way. I just really have to tell you now that this is like a hardest on a face-off, going from in between a one-on-one V, -on -one trying to go with their baskets on their own. It's not very easy. That's what the case is. They've got to get help. And right now, as the new head coach appears for the De De Detroit Pistons, it's always you. Replacement with Monty Williams after he was fired here with the Phoenix Suns. Because now, he may have a new team to go with it all. Yeah, not everybody's all over this place. NBA officials are getting a little bit aggressive right now. They were just making new changes for the head coaches. They're trying to get away with that one, but they all missed for last season. But a new group's change. We're, we're Hornets. We've got five players out, five players in. Smith Jr., McGowns, Washington, Richardson, Smith are checked in. Here's a cutting man, Berkeley, with the block. That'll be his first block rejection of the game. And Burks on his way down with a finish off drive. He has will have his first bucket in. Oh man, Marvin Bagley the first? Are you kidding me? This was not the only thing I was not gonna go for. I don't believe it. And there's a foul called on Bagley the third. That'll be his first forceful foul. And the Hornets will be at the free throw line shooting too. They got him that time. It looks like PJ Tucker was gonna get that drive in. First free throw coming up here for the block for right now for PJ Washington. And right now the free throw line shooting too. For the first field trip to the free throw for the Hornets. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. He hits the first free throw. Steve Clifford is the only man guy who could definitely just play it on as he returned to Charlotte Hornets for his second stint as a head coach and his 12th head coach in the Hornets history. He's definitely ever happening before between a trip to Orlando back to his home with the head coach of the year. Yeah, everybody's favorite Steve Clifford, he's always that good. Make him comfortable. I just really love to see how Steve Clipper does his major career to stay with the Hornets. As long as you can get there, this was like a lot of hard responses. I just really know this is a good thing. Because we love to see him back. Cunningham on the drive, and it's good. Another two pointer for Cunningham. That's nine points for Cunningham. He's only on the move. He's like a little muscle out there. Just gotta get there straight. Smith finishes the drive off of the two, and that's for another two-pointer for Adrian Korea. Portage, trail by 11. Back again to Burks. Looks over. Stewart, right outside. From the box corner, and he makes it in there. That's a two-pointer for Stewart. Kind of a little bit difficult run, but still got it all. Here's the pass, Washington up, and the two's good! Back down by 11, and this is coming down to be a hard one to take over. Yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to happen like that, but don't be mindful of this. They're just trying to get this one right away from it. Smith finds Cunningham. Around the two, it's good, as Cunningham extends his run. 11 points in the game. 48 seconds remaining in the first period. Got to a slow start, but looking for more. Here's McGowns. But going over again to Richards. Bagley on him with a two. Good D by Bagley the third. Bagley had that one with the assist down. He never just made that one anything. But it's always responsive enough. You're trying to make that one feel like they're all that good. In between here and there. Yeah, I know this was very that tough. I can not just tell you that they're really into a run. Smith Jr. wide open look. Good on the outside range. Now he is first three-quarter of an eye down by 10. Oh man, I have nothing to say about that. They were going to get this one done to a close run. Stewart, pass to Begonovich. Now he finds it again, Cunningham. Take the bus, Peter. And he missed off the rim. That's the end of the first quarter. Detroit up by five, a 25-15 lead. We'll take a quick break and we will be back on the court right after this. Good start for Bagley the third as he has his first block. Get away with him. That's what you always know. Defensive rule.
And if you're just tuning in for the second period, we got the next one up for you. The Hornets are gotten three pointers for Smith Jr. But Detroit Pistons have it up along with a five point lead. Ten point lead, as you meant. But as of right now, they're just trying to get this one in right away straight. And finding another good look of an open look here in the Buzz City. Trying to get that one here back as soon as they can. And now the starting groups has appeared by Gatorade, fueled and set for the second period. Miller with Ivy. Now we have across here is Stewart. Right on the other side here of here with Duran, Saucer, Thompson, and Stewart. And right now here's Ivy. He'll have that buck here right over to get to Stewart. Gives a look, and it's ball rejected as Miller will takes it away. Never turnover for the Detroit Pistons. On the setup, finding Williams. Tries to back him up. Looks it over to Hayward. Thompson on him. Screen covered. With the two look, Gordon Hayward reverses it. And another miss by Charlie Hornets. They're just not getting that good. I don't know what the problem is, but this is not what definitely happened. Thompson, my gosh, he just got that two right away. Yeah, it's all that happens. Almost would have rejected too soon from another turnover, but this is another major career that there's almost going to have to be careful with. Don't get away with that. This is not what everyone does. You don't want to make that one up. And Williams with the finishing drive, back down by 10. Detroit up by 10. Duran finding again to Saucer, and now Ivy in the corner. He looks a pass to Saucer. Step back with the two, and it's good. Saucer has that first bucket down. They are just extending a run by 12. Not always you can definitely tell they are getting a lot much better. They're looking for an upset run. Here's Hayward. Towards the corner, and now in the two. The spot's good. That's another two-point bucket score. This was happened to be 17 points this game. Three assists and two steals. But as a major career, this one, he just couldn't make that one with a win. It was a hard one for him to try to stop one. Yeah, everybody knows that Gordon Hayward, he was not always the biggest guy you want to see him doing it all over again, but that's what nobody really has. They're trying to get out of here. This is no way that they can't just do it right on their own and then try to stop the inbounding. This was like a hard one, but they were getting there. Oh, Bridges slams it down with one hand dunk down. That puts up a huge throwdown right away. Oh yeah, Miles Bridges, Miles Dunk. Saucer finds again the store. Looks now to Thompson. Over again, Miller with the steal. Huge turnover for Detroit Pistons, and now again, Miller on his way down. Looks now to Bridges. Looks it over, and a foul, and no bucket here. That will be Duran's first personal foul, and their second team foul for Detroit. Four thirteen left to go in the second period. This is not a joke. Miles Bridges was really getting into a close range. You have that contact shot. When you go right toward them, you look for the ball, and you look for the rim, and then you were in the cut inbound. That was a tough score that he was trying to get there. That is a hard one to try to stop by. Another free throw coming up for the Charlotte Hornets as right now they will be their second trip to the free throw line. Shoot two. He makes the free throw in. Now with a new substitution for the Detroit Pistons. Ivy is going to be checking in and now Saucer is checked out. Hayes is checked back in. Hornets are making new changes here on the offense and defense line with one shot. The second one will count in. Charlotte, Charlotte by six. Here's Hayes on his way down to Durant on a slam down. Oh, he just had two on his run. No, you can't stop now, Jalen Durant. A throw down take. Are you kidding me? That was like the biggest mom shit. Trying to stomp out them. Miller, oh, and back the other way, 
says, who's the boss now? Nobody wants to get over Dwight Derwin. He's getting a throwdown. This is a lot of battle of battle takedown. I can't believe that they're going over this. The buzz kill just can't get away with that. And he's right down towards the side and now goes over to Ivy. He swings off to Thompson, now finds Derwin with a two. Good D here as Williams has that rebound. Number missed by Detroit with only under 330 left. There's a throwdown. Oh! Terry Rozier slams it down, and now it goes back to, to, a, to a three. Down by four. No oh boy, they're going to get this one right down there. Here's Hayes, right towards the side. Looks to score. Now, Hayes fires again to Ivy. Ivy with a set. That's how shot. He makes that clear, and he has that second one down. This is always happening because Ivy was, like, looking over it again. His head coach was trying to make an appearance. You can't let him get away with that. That's what everyone does. It's a hard contact shot. 2.43 left to go, and Ivy on Miller. They were on Thompson, trying to look for an open look. Nowhere to go from deep. Hits the rim, and the rebound puts up by Durant. Here's another one for Thompson. He's fouled. Count the bucket and one. That will be a phenomenal bucket for Detroit. And the foul has been picked up on Bridges. There's all tons of play that they're trying to make that put up. All this happens for Durant. That's when nobody has ever seen it before. And this is what happens. You know, because of this point, Thompson just got it off. New group substitution here for Detroit Pistons as McDonough and Bagley are checked in. All five players are checking in for the Charlotte Hornets. Just 2.28 to go. And he will hit that down. Thompson with seven points. Here's Smith on his way down towards the, the center of the court. Looks it over again to Big Owens. Screen on Richards. In a good move. Good cut in bound. Nice pick for the screen for the offensive lineup. That's what you have to go with. To make a change up, get it good. Cunningham finds McDonough. He looks down to Thompson. Just two minutes remaining in the first half of the period. Coming up later will be the halftime show. As we have is Kenny DeJet Smith and Shag O'Neill right up towards the side to check out the first half of the game. The two for Cunningham. He misses again. And Goins on his way down to the offensive side and now he's on his way down. To the middle, Smith, wide open look, and they can't get the three-pointer down. They really are getting tired right now in the first half. Maybe they need to start energizing a bit. They got to do that quick. Now switch back to Cunningham. Looks to Bagley, and it's ball tipped away as Richard takes a steal. Here's McGowan's, watching him closely. Now finds Smith again to Richards. Washington on McDonough. He's on his way down with the two. Rebound again. Good D by Bagley the third. He has his first rebound of the game. Now gives it over again to Thompson. Looks at McDonough. Top two releases. And it's Thompson with the assist. A good pass over to McDonough. Got him great. That key motion is putting up a very, very good. Bottom offense is putting up a bit. Passes to Washington on the outside range, no good. Thompson will have to clear his own time and now he will have to give it over again. Pops out, McDonough tries to look for a different setup. Watching out for the double man, cutting him with a little two look. And he had over the back with a loose ball on Thompson. That's his first personal and 13 foul for Detroit. Now with a new changeup, as right now the next player comes out, Thompson and Hayes. Cunningham, Burks is checked in. Smith Jr. in the middle, toward the paint, and that one tips it in. Another two point bucket score, and it's now a 38 31 lead. The clock winds down with 15 seconds. Cunningham trying to give him an open look, now finding again to Burks. The offense picks up again to Cunningham. Looks over with a buzz beater, 
and that's off the rim. That ends the first half, 38 to 31. We go down to David Aldridge on the sideline, and we'll be back after this. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Clifford. What was the biggest problem for your guys in the first half? Well, you know what, we're a defensive team first, and we've been good defensively, we've been organized, we worked that in that first half, and that's what we've got to concentrate to get the game going back our way. See if you revert back to your form in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks Thank so you so much. See you later after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Teddy the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It was all Cade Cunningham in the first quarter. He had 11 points and one rebound. Taking a look at the Pistons, Shaq, what do you think? They've really established themselves in the glass. Me and Donovan there has been extra possessions, which they've cashed in on. Now we just got to, you know, Bring the same energy to the second half. Okay, what was your takeaway on Charlotte? Well, it's never fun. You play against the team that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stop. I don't think the opponent could sustain this kind of shooting. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to the Spectrum Center of the Buzz City. Third quarter is about to be starting off, and looking from here, Cunningham got all eyes on him. From Detroit's side, he's gotten great. His offensive skills have been going everywhere. He's crazy, and nothing to say about Cunningham. He's just all on him, just to improve himself, that every season they were not doing that well. But looks like he wants it all. He wants to get back into the game, and that's all eyes, all eyes on him. Gotta agree with that one and gonna get there. Williams starts up with a drive, and that will be another two-pointer back down by five. Third quarter starts now as they're already fueled up and ready to go. Ivy is also with Cunningham. He's now also with Thompson. And Duran is right down there towards with Bilgam Adonich. The two for Ivy, and that is a tough shot. A fadeaway puts it in, and it goes with Herrert. Here's Hayward, he will now have his possession. Crosses over to move, tries to back out on him. Looking for another shot, and deflected on Duran. Two point can and get it up to Doble, put it back. Pulls it back in, and Miles Bridges with the two. They are back down by five, and they are moving quickly. Nobody can't get away with that. That's not what they go. They just need some help. That's what they way it goes. Cutting in, looking for a full response. Now finding again to Thompson. Looks to Doreen, and it's another bad pass for the Detroit Pistons. Two on one. Good shot for Terry Rozier. They're back down by three. They're just going to lose that one quickly. They're not going to get this one done right away. They need some, a lot of assistance. Now Thompson finds Cunningham. He has to look for a new setup change. Bounce pass to Bogdanovich, a two. It's missed. William right down towards the other side of Will to Miller. Looks over to Hayworth. On a two-point bucket range, it's denied by Thompson. That's a first block major career assistant, no problem. And Durham with the drive, a finish off, and goes, goes with Ivy. Oh my, I just never seen that Thompson was gonna make that one with a huge stop. This run was like turning everywhere, the biggest moment. I just really never saw what was gonna come happening. Oh, we really can't get away with that. <laughs> well, as you may have hoped you have the appearance there, the gangsta, you may have it all year for spots. Hey, dude, I did. Here's Ivy with the ball. Now looks to Cunningham inside the middle. He's unstoppable for tonight. For 13 points. Looking for his way down to get 15 points on his bucket score on his run. He's goes here on Cunningham with his screen on Lyle Bridges. Three-pointer misses again. Durin right over again down to Ivy. 
Just uh, a lot of percentage rebound. Excuse me, rebounding percentage was 45. This was a lot, but tonight they had 17. Now Ivy will have it over, right with the cut and bound. That is a scoop in. And number two point buckets go for Jaden Ivy. He has eight. Charlotte, trailing by five. Trailing by five. Looks to Miller, up with the shot. It's missed again. Take the inbound. Good stop by Duran. He gets another rebound and now find Ivy. Two pointer, cut and shot. That is a tough and tricky angle. Ivy has 10 points with 3.30 left. Oh man, I don't know what to do with this team. They just really just keep on losing it. They don't want to make that one feel bad. Hayward, wide open look and he has that three pointer down. They are down, back down by six. Here's Ivy right down towards the end to Thompson. Bounce pass to Cunningham. Fade away, now finds Thompson. Looks now to Ivy. Gives off to McGonovich with six on the shot clock. Looks over. Go ran around him. And two pointer got him off guard. Williams with the rebound and now finds Rozier the third. 2.50 left to remain in the third quarter. Use Hayward right around Thompson with a stride and a stop by Thompson. Number missed by the Hornets. They are just going over again. Great D's on that one, baby. This one goes to the half that one all the time. With the cover, you can't get away with that. Here's McDonough with the ball. In the corner, Ivy. Free corner, now find Duran. Try to go for the back set. Thompson, nobody look. Never missed by Detroit. They are sure getting out of here, and this is not how it's gonna go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're just trying to need to do some fixing major adjustments. Ball tipped, will in reverse. Try to go with Big Down. Stop again by Duran. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter of the period, and now finds Ivy. He looks at Bogdanovich. Good pass. That's another huge setup. Assisted. And then Ivy goes with the another takeaway with the assist. Bogdanovich has six points with his third bucket. Now the timeout call then by Charlotte Hornets with 145 to remain. They're all getting now. This is whatever happens now. They, they really never get away with it easily. They just really want to like stop them. That is big concerns. I have some, a lot of strengths of what's going to happen now. Well, you'll have to find out soon enough, actually, because we never know what comes next. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you part by... Your local Kia dealers. A moment that inspires. Starry Lines. And by Mountain Dew. Let's do the do. If you enjoyed your anime Sandy Invitational, we have to tell you this. The upsetting major duos has finished their run because now there's only one episode to go as of next year in two months in February. This is all it takes. And now, presenting your final three competitors from the team of Finkers, Pinkers, and Sinkers, we have this Balloon, Cappy, and Silver Spoon. This was all it does turn out, one of the biggest upset majors as the duo comes to an end for Nicole. The last Eliminator competitor ever had built. Yeah, I know it was a serious run, but I gotta tell you now, it was great to have him on his appearance. A long major season, better than season number two, but I have to tell you now, we're gonna get this one done right away. Because this is it, the last episode, and it's over. Because the same thing with season one, that's what everybody wants. Here's Stewart with the ball after a major throwdown on Terry Rozier. Here's Stewart. Over by Miller. Over P.J. Washington, excuse me. Never miss here for Detroit Pistons. Here's Smith on his way down finding Rozier. And we have a report from David Aldrich as Monte Morris had the, Monte Williams had that response. This was what's everybody's favorite idea. 
this is what we need to do to try to keep that set up in mind. He definitely talked to one of them, and that, there are some full responses to the one of the managers here for the 2K Sports of the Pistons. They're making a lot of a huge changes, but there's only one that Backley the Third may have it all in common, the takedown. After a block, then the foul has been released. This was a hard one, but they are trying to get away with this. Yeah, everybody knows that. Gotta give it a credit to that one. Misses the first free throw. This is a lot of hard responses. I can't tell you that B.J. Washington was already getting there abound. He's got to get there close. One shot coming in after a foul puts up by Detroit. And he misses second. He missed both free throws, and he doesn't have the right to do this. I know. I don't know what to tell you this. Your saucer got a shot inbound, and he has a second bucket of the game. And they're all just saucering it out, making that one feel like they're getting it right around it. Rozier with the two, step back, and bound goes in. Number two point for Rozier, and a comparison by Cunningham. He's looking to get a beat over it. Here's Bagley the third. We'll have to give it back to Thompson. And back pass again to Bagley the third. Not so heavy enough. Washington slams the one hand dunk down. Turn it over to go bigger and bigger. Step by step inbound. Not the best choice. I can't just tell you this. This was a heavy make out. Looks away to Bagley. Looks around over. And Bagley misses again. Boy, he's almost getting too cold this point. But he looks to get another block if he can. With the two, Richards back again to Washington. Down to the nine on the, nine on the game clock. Richards with the pusher. Inbound in the reverse, takes it away from here. And back to four. Will he do it? No, he will not. That ends the third quarter. The Warriors are coming, making a comeback here in the third. So it looks like they could go for the lead for the first time or take them down. Pressure's on. you got to keep them over it. And we will get to this one in the fourth quarter after the break. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And a moment now to reveal your State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm glad though, they really are in a full mound. But here's the favorite. All you take down to a pass off, and then you just finish off with a bucket and one, right to Thompson. I just really have to tell you that Duran's got him great. He's doing really well out there. Keep the secrets, keep the prize and money flowing. That's on him. We, we hope you enjoyed here this game, and now this is where it comes down to the final quarter. Here we go. Bogdanovich on the start. Last group of this group of the game. And Ivy gives it back to Bogdanovich. Fade away. Finding again Ivy. Looks down to Burks. Burks in from baseline. Oh, he's too good. No traveling call on Burks. And this one would have been a turnover on Detroit. I don't know what to tell you. If he has too much step moves, that's going to turn it over. Screen on Williams. Here's another look. Two-pointer misses out. With another release. Bridges on his way down, finding Williams with the two. Nice D by Bagley the third. He has his second rebound and now gives off to Brooks. With the finish run, pick off the look and drive. He got big here. This is all a comeback down does. Burke, he just went around it. That's what I meant. He has six points in this game. 56 to 50 is the score with six minutes gone by. Miller on Ivy. Screen coming in. And a reaching foul is called on back to the third with a second. And another team foul for Detroit. Now with a new changeoff, Durham checks in for back to the third. And for Charlotte Hornets, Gordon Hayward is coming out. As right now, Bridges, he moves over and Gordon Hayward checks in. As P.J. Washington is out on the bench. Bridge is up. That puts it in a scoop and makes a drive. Back down by four. Looking over again. Miles Bridges is not too bad at all. Ivy now finding again to Burks. Now gets back to Hayes. 
Pace on his way down, finding Burks. Pressure and steam. Here's Durick. Fade a shot. Looks to Ivy. Here he comes. Oh! Whoa! I've never seen what Ivy does that before. He's like already going down. A throw down. 12 points for Ivy. And now here's another one for Smith Jr. Watch your steam on Hayes. Bridges on McDonough. Looks it over. Passes. Miller for three. No swishing connection. And as it goes back over again to Durant. They're trying to go with open responses. Not everybody's looking over it again. They're just getting away with this. Say, hey, we need to pressure it back. You do not try to like get over this and try to put a reach on it. Because that might be a foul. You're going to get in trouble with that. Bauer on a shot clock. Backstep for Burks. Wow, he is that good. He has his fourth bucket down, and now he's coming back in to say, hello, Burks, and goodbye, England. I don't know what to tell you what it is right now, but they're just getting away with this. Not a coins. Not a clue. Smith with a two. Releases a number two for outside of the range. Now he finds over again to Hayes. Hayes right down here towards the other side, now gives it to Durant. Dory now finds Hayes. Looks it over. Tries to go with another motion on the attack. Try to go over with another flop step. He decides to give it back to Hayes and wants to switch it up. In the middle. Looks down with Donovich. Back step or jump. Rebounded by Dory. McDonovich keeps it going. A lot of passing, passing bound for the Detroit Pistons to go over again. Bounce pass to Duran. Brown Williams. And nice D. He's got another uh, Smith assistant major rebound, and now Hayward back to Smith. Picks it over to Hayward. 330 left to go. Pulls around with the spin, and good for Hayward. He is unstoppable. This is always that responsive. I can't just tell you that Gordon Hayward is getting over again. They're really going to get that one like a full major hit. That is a lot of responses. Vidanovich finds Burks. He's fine Vidanovich. Now over again to Ivy. Three minutes gone by in the fourth quarter. Looking to get a run with the lead. Hey, A's for the triple. Misses again on the outside. Number rebound puts in for Williams. And now he goes over to Smith. With the spin cross. Bridges for the three. Misses again. Dure now find McDonovich. Here comes Burks to escape the eye. Finds Hayes to make the arc. Crusher in. Kevin Hayes has two points. And McDonovich with the assist. Oh, he's like too good. Pressure inbound. Don't just get it sit there and just be like, oh, this is what I really do. I just really need to get that on back end. Time out call by Charlotte Borders with only 227 remaining. If you're looking forward into the next game, the next matchup is right towards the line. As you're about to be seeing for this next game, we've got the Funders versus the Nuggets. This is the next and courtesy game as I have is on the next reporter. That will be the next one to keep your eyes peeled on for the game night in game four of the holiday season. Seasons of Giving. This is all it does happen now, and we would love to see what's going to happen next. Because I never see what was going to look like, and because of that point, they're going to get this one over and pressure under it done. We might have a lower different strength. You may never know. I can definitely tell that one. This is a lot of like hard responses. I can't really tell you. They might be going over this again. Want to do some a little bit of average here? They just want to go right from a, a pickoff run. They're trying to make that one feel good. Here's a team comparison right over there on the left side. This is a lot of major points. Rebounds put again for Detroit. Then assisted goes with 26. And also the turnovers was only 6. That's too much. And looks like they're going to need to fix it up. And now it's time for the New Balance player of the game. And the player of the game goes to Jalen Durant. And all that player in town, I can definitely tell that he was all in pants. Can't just really tell him that he is like a big beast. The inbound in the center, that was him. Oh, you can't just make that one feel good, because that is a major credit.
the other reporter for David Aldridge right now, as as he has been talking to Cunningham for a while, he's been done really well to get right into this one. But this time, they're trying to get this one over and under. They might be looking for another changeoff run, and they're gonna need to see what they can do to try to stop one. On the out of bounds side, as Pistons will retain the position with 2.13 to go. Here's Ivy right on the outside with only 2.11 to go. He finds Thompson. Looks now to Durant. Get back to Harry and McDonavich. Looks in the corner shot. He is off and makes it in. McDonavich with 8 points as Ivy makes another assist. They've gotten great assist to, assist in between of Detroit and Charlotte. They're just trying to make them feel like they're clean about it. I don't know what to tell you, but this has all happened. Wow, that throw down, I can't exactly tell you that Terry Rose is having fun tonight. Looks like you might need to get it over with. Here's Ivy on the other side, now finding again. Thompson, back finding Cunningham. To go with 15, and makes the drive. He now has 15 points to make their game, and he's unstoppable. Face off the pressure, because Guy Cunningham, you are a star. Make him feel like he's the beast on the court. Get away with that. Four shooting for three. The triple range, no good. Durham with another rebound and on the pass. Breaking now finds Ivy with 119 to go. Now finds Ivy. Ivy now looks over to Thompson. Looks it over. Bad pass taken. Hayward on the move. Looks in center over Bogdanovich. On over miss by Charlotte Hornets. He looks over. Ivy with the finish move. Foul! Bump and one! Oh my! Ivy is like already on a full impression. The inbound is like a stunning. Oh, you can't just skip that one down there. Ivy just had that one full pressure. Take out attack. That's a body with the foam on the fragment. And you would have called that one there too. If it would have been a fragment, Fragrance on the Hornets, that means they're going to get their, they get their technical free throws right away. One shot remaining for Ivy as right now he has gotten a lot of major hits. Looking to tie the run with Cunningham. And has that down. Both players on Detroit have 15 points. Ivy and Cunningham. Hey, Rozier, stepping back. Takes it away with the rejection of Duran. Ivy now finds Duran. Up and bound. Takes it away. That's a number two pointer for Duran. And with this one, the time is running down. Not everybody is going to go out there. They're just going to feel like, oh yeah, because we're going to end it all. Driving. No good. Lost the ball. Then they'll still have the ball for the Hornets. Just 30 seconds remaining in the fourth. Last substitution will be putting up for all five players out and all five players checked in. Saucer, Pace, Burks, Stewart, and Bagley Deferred are checked in. And for the over five players on the other side, we have across Smith, Smith Jr., McGowan, Washington, and Richards. He finds Smith. Under 30 seconds remaining. Passes. That's lost the ball as Stewart has it over. And Bagley Deferred will have it over. Takes the pressure and Stewart and their team will finish here. That's what they call because Detroit Pistons, they are back. They're another winning to get over with. Shot clock violation goes over, and that one will be the last one for Detroit. Last possession for the Hornets. They're all leaving right now. That's whatever happens now. You can't win it all. And that will do it. Your final score for tonight's game, Detroit Pistons 71 and Charlotte Hornets 60. What a tough game this is, and I can definitely tell you this was a comeback in the third period as the Hornets are trying to make them pay for it. But now, it started falling apart.
Well, I know this happens. Badly deferred, Darren had that two blocks. This is the best one. I can't just tell you they are good. And now we're wrapping things up with me, Boomer, the Gangsta Beast, and test to this has been a presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Thanks for joining with us, and time to go to the postseason. I am Son of Beast, Devin Boot Spoonie stands by. Guys, all yours. Good night, everybody. Boomer, thank you, as right now, this is the biggest motion that everybody's been going over this. A lot of hard time stop. They are just pulling a big knockout punch to the line. They are just going crazy enough. I can't just really tell you that this was not that hard in response. They're just getting things over and quickly and easy and get this thing done. Here's how they did with the total combination of the Pistons and the Hornets. 71 points for the Detroit. 33 over 50 by 66 percentage here for the field goals for the Pistons. 20% for the Hornets. As right now they only had three pointers. Both guys are have one advantage for three throws. Fast break was Detroit for 23 and points in paint was 50. Second chance points was caught off victim with only four. Bench points was 19 for Charlotte Hornets, 29 for Detroit. Then 13 for the Hornets. 23 for the Detroit Pistons of the defensive rebounds. Seven steals, five blocks. Turns out to be Durant and Bagley the third. Right away from the turnovers, only had two. And team fouls was given up for Charlotte Hornets on the run. Seven dunks performed for the Hornets. 13 biggest lead of the night. And 15-18 was their time of possession of the run. The game is absolutely insane and it's crazy enough. Just try to take that one from here, and they are just going absolutely insane. That is a hard one, Major Pick. You can't get away with one. Now it's time for three star players of the game. As I start off with you, Wood Spoonie, you start first. Thank you so much. As right now, I give that one a huge start off chain. It's a lot of the points that nobody has gotten in that way. But this was all it started. This was all that does happen now with only the Hornets. Terry Rozier had 14 points with 3 rebounds and an absolute 4 dunks and has made his best victim of the game. 7 out of 13 field goals and got 21 performance. Next up for you, center base, you take next. Alright, thank you so much. As right now we have is Jaden Ivey with 15 points, 2 rebounds and 7 assists. He really got in good pressure. The steam ahead has been only pulling in and out. With 29 performance run and 7 field goals percentage, only one dunk has involved. He's gotten great at it just to keep it going. Last take for Detroit, all for you, it's Kai Cunningham with 15 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist, and a block. During that to go over inbounding, he just finally had it nailed out. He only got 6 out of 9 field goals, 1 3 pointers, and 17 performance run. An absolute insane in the point guard positions, that's what happens, you can't just get away on. And in the meantime, that will be it for the third game, as right now you will state see what next game goes, as the Thunders take on against the Denver Nuggets for game night in Mile High. That's right, we're going back to Mile High, as this one's going to be a fun matchup to do it all over again. As right now, it's going to be a terrific run in the Western Conference Series. With me and Wood Spoonie, along with Boomer, Test Tube, and Gangsta Beast. I hope you enjoyed this part of the game, and looks like we're ready for a next matchup in our holidays. Seasons of Giving. And hopefully there's more to take away from this to the other angle. As until next time, peace out everybody for a while as the NBA 2K24 dial. If you like us so far, be sure to follow me on my social media. I'm on Instagram, X, and TikTok. Link in my about page. And you can also subscribe to his channel and check out the new latest content as we see the last season in the playlist section below. That'll be at the end of the video. In the meantime, we'll be back for our next pre-game matchup as we're about to be seeing what's going to happen now. Thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you all again for our next game. Good night, folks. And peace out for a while as the NBA 2K24 dial. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.